G'day guys, it is Ben here from Hunt the Night. Now, what we're going to do today is what I'm going to call Tech Tip, Tech Tip Tuesday. Every Tuesday, and this might have to be the one and only, but we're going to release a quick little quick tech tip uh, on some of our devices. And today we're going to look at how to update the Aries series of scopes. And this is actually the same process um, for the Cyclops series of monoculars as well from Thermtech. Uh, and we're going to look at what's new in this update. So uh, last night, uh, Thermtech released version 1.51 for all of the Thermtech scopes. Um, so we're going to have a quick look at the update process, and then we're going to have a quick look at some of this button configuration that's changed and some of the new features they've added. So first of all, to update, update the scope, simply hook it into the computer. It'll pop up as a USB drive. On my computer, it pops up as F drive. Uh, simply copy the file over, and the file you can download from the product page on our website. Um, copy the file over, go into the menu system by holding the long press here, scrolling down to system, clicking it once, scrolling down to update, select the update button, and it'll go through the update. And you'll see it on the back of the screen, it'll say updating in progress. It takes about two or three minutes, the device will automatically reboot. Um, and there's some new things that they put in here. So the first thing um, that they have done is they've added the picture and picture now using the camera button here. Double tapping that quickly will turn on picture and picture. Double tapping that again will turn off picture and picture. Um, one thing it does when you turn it off though, it will go to the magnification of what the picture and picture was on. Yeah, I've had a conversation with them that I don't really like that, but um, it is what it is for the moment. I think most people either have picture and picture on or off. I don't think it gets turned on and off a lot, so it doesn't really matter. They've also added a new way of uh, zooming. So if you zoom normally, which is smooth zoom, you can see that when you zoom, it goes up in 0.1 increments, which can be really, really slow. So they've also introduced rapid zoom, and to get into rapid zoom, we go through the menu system, uh, we get down to uh, the system, and we can change the zoom, and we go from smooth to rapid, and now when you zoom, you only need to change it once, and it'll go from one times to two times to three times to four times to five times, okay? So that's something really cool. And uh, they've also made some changes to the reticle. The reticle, the little... Um, a dot in the middle of the reticle is now two pixels wide, or two by two uh, pixels instead of one, uh, one by one pixel, so it's a little bit bigger. And they've also added the ability to change the brightness of the reticle as well. So you've got three different brightness settings. Uh, the polarity on the reticle has also changed to be quicker. It used to be a one second, now it's a half a second change. Um, so that's when you are on, say, white hot, and you go to a black uh, you know, target. The, the 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 reticle will change to white or if you go to a white target the reticle will change to, to black so it's automatically sensing and adjusting and it's just made that a little bit uh quicker um so guys that's kind of it they're the the updates oh sorry they've added one more update which i can't actually show you in this uh, but if you go into the system and into oled you can actually change the hue and it's got various different colors. So you've got blue, you've got purple, you've got gray, which are the typical ones. They've added red. The red's actually pretty cool. So that's just another option that you can actually change within this scope. I've said it before. These scopes have got so many configuration options, it's not funny. Um, you know, it's just crazy. And they've changed some of the imaging as well. So when you need to refresh this device, because there's no manual, re there's no automatic refresh, it's all manual refresh, you've got to close the lens cap. Oh, just knocked the tripod. Double tap this side button. Uh, and then press it one more time, and that will do the image calibration. They put a nice new little, uh, you know, um, image in there just to say, hey, make sure the lens cap's closed. Uh, the other thing too, guys, just remember, in the Thermtech, in the 360 and the 660, the dual field of views, when you're zeroing this or changing field of views, you have to go all the way. You've got to hard lock it to there and hard lock it to there. If you go to, to your 60 mil focal and go back a little bit to try and get the focus right, which you can do, you'll get a different point of impact. So always go hard lock to hard lock and then focus with your focal ring. Anyway, guys, that's it. That's our Tech Tip Tuesday on the new firmware for the Thermtech Aries uh, series of scopes. Talk to you soon.